Hello, I'm Nelson Pereira from Binet TV, and welcome to Mobile World Congress 2012 in Barcelona. And with us is Maria from Shard Boost. How are you doing, Maria? Good, thank you. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing excellent. Actually, um, I have done a lot of interviews uh, this week, and um, not once have I crossed a company that deals with the gaming industry portion of the business, which is a big market share because no matter who has a mobile, either in the iOS market or the Android market, everybody's buying games. Yeah. Um, can you talk to us about your company and how they fit in the ecosystem itself, especially in the, in the gaming area? Yeah. So we build an ad serving technology and we're helping games um, manage the distribution power to so just get more visibility to their games and then make more money once they're successful. That's pretty impressive because sometimes I have to find about other games by looking at other people playing it and never do I get an injection and say, well, I'm playing my game. It's, look, this is not a game that's really, really good. You should try it out. Right. Um, I've never seen really advertisement on the gaming industry. Yeah, that's absolutely what we're doing. So when you're playing one game, we'll tell you another game you're going to like. And we try to make that look like a suggestion to check out another free game instead of an ad that happens in your face. So it's suggestion. So if I have my list of games, if I'm a gaming company, yeah. and I'm looking to... Um, advertise my games across the board and I have my own network let's say like I got 10 games in my network um, is it impossible for me to advertise my game to other networks no so what we're bringing to you is the technology for you to connect those 10 games you already have oh, wow. so every time you launch one new game you can tell all your users and your other 10 games about the new game uh, very fast like in five minutes you launch a campaign across all your 10 games and then you're able to connect your company with another company and do advertising deals directly so you don't have to give 50% to an ad network. So if I have my network of 10 games and there's another company that has their own network of games, I can make negotiations with them and exactly. say, listen, you let me advertise on your pool, I'll let you advertise on mine, uh, our games get sold more, and there's a better profitability. In the end of the day comes how many games can you sell? Right. You can either do that and do this kind of exchange, or you can just go to big companies and buy from them, okay. or go big companies and sell to them. So then the, the thing is you have the technology, so you become your own ad network, and you don't have to pay 50% to anyone else. That's amazing, because I never thought about you can actually do that. And hearing from you, your <laughs> company is actually is, it's a great idea. <laughs> um, but uh, I can see that happening right now, and especially now with the growth of wireless communication and a lot of mobile phone, everybody has a game, right. like I said. Um, what is new uh, in terms of your company this year, uh, especially in Barcelona? Um, well, we're expanding uh, internationally. So we've been three times in Europe this last month. Uh, we've also been in Asia, Japan, Korea, and China, and we're just trying to grow our network um, around the world. And, Gaming is a global market, so that's what, what? we're It was not only in the U.S.? You're telling me other people play games? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy to hear that because now I can play my Angry Birds everywhere I go. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, this is what makes gaming industry different from brand advertising. Uh, brands are focused in a specific country and game advertisers, they just want global users. They want the whole world. So we'll help you reach the whole world. And like I said before, uh, I've been interviewing a lot of people and this is my first time encountering a part of the market that hasn't been tapped really and your company is actually becoming the primary uh, portion of the advertisement of this industry itself. Um, well, that's, that's the objective for sure. <laughs> well, I, looking at you and seeing the way your company is doing business, I'm very confident that your company not only is going to do well, but it's going to do well and especially with all the new smartphones coming out because every gamer out there or every industry doing gaming is going to need a company such as your right. to advertise their merchandise. Yeah, it's a, it's a growing industry and it's accelerating every year. So uh, this is going to be big. <laughs> well, remember us little people when you grow big, okay? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> well, Maria, thanks so much for spending time with us. And as always, I, I do thank you for coming because I did not talk about the subject at all during the time I've been here. And I'm glad that you brought it up. <laughs> thank you. And this is Nelson Pereira from Binet TV at the Mobile World Congress 2012 in Barcelona. Thank you.